if you watch my recent video, I'm trying to use my Fresnel lens to use solar energy to heat this Eola pile that I made in one of my earlier experiments. Uh, you'll know that it didn't work. I couldn't get enough heat into it to make it work. So I said, well, I didn't really want to buy another larger Fresnel lens, so I decided to redesign the Eola pile. So here's what I've done. I just got a three quarter inch, uh, about a two inch long brass pipe nipple with a brass cap on it. And I drilled a couple of small holes. They're about three thirty seconds, I believe. This is small diameter tubing I happen to have, and I bent it into a curve. Used JB Weld steel to glue them in rather than solder. Something somewhere here, I've got a screw eye in there. Use JB Weld steel to hold that in there. Now, what I'm going to do is try to... I've also got a uh, one of my little fishing lure swivels to, so it'll spin freely. Okay, I'm going to add distilled water up to the copper tube level and then use my map gas torch to uh, see how it works. Okay, I've got the uh, Eola pile set up. This new one that I made, and I'm gonna use my map gas torch to see if I can get it to spin. I've got my face shield on. Oh, there is no pop-off valve on that, so I gotta be careful. Works great with the map gas. We'll have to set it up with the Fresnel lens and see if we can get enough heat into it to spin like that. This works really good. Yeah, it won't be long before the thunderstorms will start. And if the clouds will appear, so that's why we have to do this in the morning. Okay, it's morning. Partly cloudy. Right now it's relatively clear. About 8.52 in the morning. Gonna try and see if this uh, new Eola pile I've got will. It's definitely hot enough. Let's try to get that. Well, it didn't take long. So it's gonna work starting to squirt water out of the nozzles. To make this more compatible with solar heating, I did paint this brass uh, flat black high temperature paint. Uh, so it would be more likely to absorb the heat rather than reflect it. Yep. How about that? Solar power to the old pile. Let's see if we can put this back here and see the steam. It's definitely working. How about that? This is our setup. It's about... 8.54 in the morning, August 5th. Just point out that I did uh, use my solar alignment pin on this Fresnel lens bracket holder to uh, get the line perpendicular to the uh, sun. So it was early in the morning, the uh, sun was coming in at a shallow angle, and it really worked out really well, surprisingly well. It's fun faster with a map gas torch, because it can really put the heat to it. Now, this may be different <clears throat> at a different time of day. Right now, we've had so much cloudy weather, it's been difficult to find a time of day when uh, we can have a clear sky. It's interesting that it's working this well this early in the morning, but we do have a clear sky. Let me try to reposition that slightly. Now I've got this set up with a, just basically an old dog choker chain. Just 
simply chain. We never used it as a choker chain. This way I can position the height of this just by one notch at a time on a finishing nail with this setup here. So it's, uh, it's working pretty good. Let's get around this other angle over here. Now I had found in some earlier work that the groove side of the Fresnel lens works better if it's towards the sun as far as the uh, tight focal point. So that's the way I've got it set up. Didn't have to use the mirror. That takes one little hassle out of it. That's good. It's because that early in the morning the sun's low in the sky and I come in at a reasonable angle with this. We will use up the water. It's not a huge amount of water in there. So, but that's why it works. Don't have to heat up, heat up a huge amount. The solar alignment guide is pretty well centered. There's no shadow around it. So we got lucky. No clouds, just so happens. This morning sky is going to do it. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like the video. Uh, click on the subscribe if you're not a subscriber and uh, check out our other links. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much.